Hello everybody, Spotted Gecko here again, bringing you another video for the game World of Warships Legends. And today I have another community content video for you. This is a full match submission coming from Shadow Ninja. And Shadow Ninja sent in an incredible match. In this match he plays the Queen Elizabeth and he gets eight. Yes, that is eight sinkings. So let's sit back, I'll provide the commentary, and let's watch Shadow Ninja go to work and take over and take on the entire wave team. Here we go. All right, here we are in Neighbors, and looks like he's going up against a, uh, three destroyers, a, uh, a couple of uh, cruisers, and uh, three battleships there. It looks like he is top tier in here. He's got, he's got the Dunkirk, Fuso, the Peter. There's a tough one. Uh, DeGrasse, Molotov, Furitaka, Icarus, Farragut, etc. Okay, now he has spawned on the um, the western south side. And like I mentioned before, he sinks eight ships in here, which is pretty much unheard of in this game. Not very many people have accomplished that. I've never sank eight before. The most I ever sunk was seven, and that was in a Caesar. I have not done eight whatsoever. But to get eight sinkings in a tier five ship, an absolutely incredible match that... Um, Shadow Ninja here should be very proud of it. I'm glad he don't. I'm glad he submitted this so that we can, uh, as a community, watch him do this. Now there is his first one there, the uh, Fuso. Let's see what happens. Oh, they, we have two ships colliding, the Peter and the Fuso. <laughs> happens a lot with uh, tunnel vision when you're watching where you're going through the through your turrets. Anyways, uh, do note that I have not uh, pre-watched this match. I like to uh, uh, comment on these matches. Do the commentary fresh. So all I know is that Shadow Ninja sank eight, which is going to be an incredible match. All right. So he's got a uh, he's got some he's got some nice uh, broadsides over there. He's got another one there. Well, basically there's nine red ships, and uh, he's going to get pretty much all of them. <laughs> oh my gosh, this is going to be something else. Okay. Now, he is starting way over here on the uh, the far western flank, though. So he's got to move himself across the map. Unless the red team is going to come towards him, which I'm guessing they might end up doing. The Furitaka. There we go. And now we all know the, um, the Queen Elizabeth is one of the better Tier 5 Tech Tree battleships. It just hits hard. You know, pretty much almost every salvo you, you launch off, you get at least 10,000. There's an Icarus sitting out there. The fact that he's going to probably get most of the destroyers here is another uh, another great thing as well. All right, the Fuso is giving a beautiful broadside here. You're not going to be able to get it because the island would have been in the way. The Furitaka, you might as well get rid of that. You got to start deleting these things pretty soon. I'm going to guess he's going to get rid of the Furitaka here. Oh, maybe not. Those are going to miss. Now, at the start of this match, I would not have guessed that you got eight sinkings here. Looks like the blue team has already lost one ship here. Oh, you got the bow tanking and angled uh, Dunkirk. And yeah, you drilled them in pretty good there. You got all penetrations in there, so you hit the Dunkirk really hard there. The Dunkirk is probably the fastest uh, battleship at Tier 5. And the uh, the Prince um, the Prince Frederick comes in a close second. He's giving you a beautiful broadside in a way. They're like, he's angling now, but you can get those in and drill them in. You can sink them in the shot. Nope, you didn't get the sinking there yet, but you got four more penetrations. The Dunkirk was able to dodge most of those tarps, if not all of them. He just took a... Uh... Okay, now he's going to give you a beautiful broadside to, to wipe out here. <laughs> it's a, the Dunkirk's done. And the reason is because the torpedoes made him have to do that. But you see how fast the Dunkirk's turrets turn there? It's a great ship. If uh, you guys are looking for a really good premium vessel, uh, you might want to consider the Dunkirk. The Dunkirk is a very fun Tier Five uh, premium uh, French warship. A lot of fun. It's a really good ship. I think you would really enjoy it. Speed and some uh, half-decent firepower. Okay, he got his first sinking there, the Dunkirk. Now I'm going to guess he's going to sink the Icarus. 
<laughs> I think it's probably a good guess. Now, he, is, he does have the AP loaded, and you can actually... Sell, okay, he is going to sink him now. The Icarus is down far enough that your AP rounds can burrow them all in and get rid of him. There he goes. He's gone. Number two, right there. Dunkirk number one, Icarus number two. What's number three going to be? Oh, what is made there? Oh, there they are. Look at that beautiful broadside. What? The Peter you could take out in one salvo if he stays broadside. It's an, it's an easier vessel to, uh, to sink even in the Fuso. Well, I'd be going for the Peter first because he's giving you the broadside. The minute he goes bow tanking you, he can't kill the darn thing. But that will wipe him out in one shot. Watch this. They look great going in and gone. Devastating strike. Two Citadels. Peter is gone. Let that be a lesson to you guys out there. Do not, absolutely do not, broadside your Russian battleships. You're just asking to be sunk, and that's what happens. You want to angle and bow tank with them. Only broadside if necessary. The same thing goes with the Fuso. Now, the Fuso right here is doing a good thing. He's angled, which is great. He's still going to get damaged here, but nowhere near. The Fuso does have a delicate broadside as well. So you don't want to have your, your Fuso broadside, but the Fuso has an insane range. It's got You can get 19 kilometers and more on that ship. So for the Fuso, you want to stay at really far range and utilize all your guns via broadside because the other ships can't hit you. But anyways, Fuso right now is at a limit. He only can use his two frontal turrets. That's only four guns. And when the Queen's angled here, she's throwing everything she's got at him. So the Queen's going to eventually win through attrition here. Now we'll see if the, um, the Fuso's going to turn into a broadside. Or it looks like the Fuso's really going to make you work for the sinking here. Other than that, so far, awesome game, Shadow. But you're probably in your head thinking, who would ever thought that you would uh, that you end up getting eight sinkings here? Okay, does it look like he's going to go broadside here? Look at that. He's going to give you the sinking. Like, I don't know why. That's This is something you do not want to do in an opposing battleship, like a Fuso. This this is going to sink him. Watch the uh, the Queen Elizabeth here just destroy it. He's going to load him up. He's a flat broadside. He's going to get citadels. Well, you know what? I was wrong. <laughs> oh, man. But look at that. He's still got massive penetrations there, which practically killed the Fuso. So the Fuso cannot survive the next, um, the next salvo. But usually what will happen when you're, when you're broadside that the Fuso against the Queen is you'll end up getting citadels on it. And here we go. This time he's going to fire. And there's the Citadel right there. Okay. So that gives you number what? What's that number? Number four? That's sinking number four. Oh my gosh. And you're going to get the final four ships. This is what's incredible. Okay, there's that Furitaka that you were aiming at earlier in the match. It's still alive. This should be a really nice hit here. I'm guessing you're going to get him here. All you got to do is basically touch that ship with your shells and it's going to blow up. This should be cracking, right? Oh my god, it missed. Oh, I thought for sure you would have had him on that. Oh my lordy there, uh, Shadow Ninja. Okay, so I guess he's just going to give you a better uh, a better target this time. Now you got to wait for the fire. Oh, okay, there he is. Okay. All right. You got to get your cracking on this shell here. We got 123,000 already in damage. Eh? Wow. That's great for a tier five match. And there, and it's it's still not gone. Oh my gosh. I can't believe the, the luck of the Furitaka right now. Holy crud. You got your uh, division mate there and the destroyer firing on those things. Okay, you got to take the... Obviously, you're going to go for the Furitaka here. We already know you're going you're gonna to get these last four ships. I just want to see how tense it's going to get. <laughs> oh, man. Because that already was tense enough. Now, that's a perfect shot there. It's gone. Okay. Kraken is now achieved.
Got a wide spread on... Uh, okay, so you're going for the Z23 this time. There's another destroyer sitting over there. Okay. Now the Z23... Uh, which one are you going to... Yeah, you're going to go for that one. You can't go for the other one right now. Catch him while he's turning. And if you get it just... Okay. They left just a little bit for you. He's yours. He's gone. Number six. That's the six pack right there. Oh, beautiful. They really should have um, new medals where you have one where you sink six. You got five for the Kraken, six, maybe a six pack. Have no idea what you would call seven or eight. They could certainly use more trophies and uh, medals in the game now. We got carriers, got a whole bunch of new stuff going on in the game. That's something that they really should update. Anyways, let's get back to the match here. Now, what's he going after this time? Yeah, he's got the DeGrasse. The Grass is one of the original HE spamming ships. Back in the day, when all we had was the, De was the DeGrasse and the Atlanta, we didn't have any other HE spammers. Those were the only two. So the DeGrasse here, you don't see them as often anymore. They're still a really good ship. I tend to see them more when, they're, when it's a Tier 5 ranked or something like that. Okay, there we go. Let's see how the... Uh, let's how, oh, yep, they look perfect going in there. Yep, they look good. You're going to get them on the shot. And no, <laughs> I'm not doing very well with my uh, my guessing here. I thought for sure you would have taken him out there. Oh my gosh! All right, let's try it again here. You're gonna load him up again, eh? You gotta get your gunnery uh, gunnery gunnery crew under control here, Shadow. They seem to be missing right now. You're gonna get these last two ships, but man, you got 132,000 as well. I think I see you're just trying to rack up your damage, aren't you? Okay, so, all right, okay, and so this time, you know, now he is zigzagging. That's what you want to do in a cruiser. Is he going to stay like that, or is he going to turn back in? I'm guessing he's going to turn back in. Yep, there he goes. He's turning back in. You can predict those moves. The store is keeping him uh, spotted, I guess. And DeGrasse is still not yours. <laughs> <laughs> Gosh. Oh, and look who just showed up. It's the Farragut over there. Okay, so uh, which one are you going to kill first? Probably the DeGrasse, I would, because the DeGrasse would be a threat to your destroyer. But my. Let the Farragut just, uh, you know, pepper you with uh, small guns. Okay, that should kill the DeGrasse. Yeah, he's staying like that. He's not moving. And finally. Oh my gosh, 137,000. That's sinking number seven. Get that, people. That is sinking number seven. Now, a lot of us have gotten seven sinkings before, but very, very few of us have actually gotten eight, and here comes number eight. And it's going to be the Farragut right here. Will he get it in the one shot? And there it is, number eight. Let that sink in, guys. He got eight sinkings here. Awesome job in the Queen Elizabeth getting eight. Number one on the leaderboard for sure. 319,000, 141,000 damage. Number one on the leaderboard with over a 3,000 base XP. An incredible match. Thank you so much, Shadow Ninja, for sharing that. If you guys like this, please give me a like. And, of course, it would be wonderful if you would subscribe to future videos on my channel. This is Spotted Gecko Gamer, and I will see you on the seas next time.